Uh, good evening or afternoon. Um, yesterday we had um, Simon claiming a wonderful uh, in a wonderful news article about a rabbi who was told to take his shoes off at Heathrow Airport. Now I'm going to share a couple of news articles on that, and it will show you why you should investigate news sources and you shouldn't listen to anyone and just not investigate it. That includes me as well. Here you have the Jewish Chronicle. That's what um, Simon used for it. Notice the Jewish Chronicle is not showing the date for this report. It's just presuming it's something that happened now. If you'd win with it, you would presume it was a recent event. It's not. You will see why in a minute. In any case, Rabbi complains after being told to remove shoes in Heathrow multi-faith prayer room. A pretty silly spat by someone who sounds like they're likely to be Muslim, having a bit of a spat with Rabbi Shmuley Brown here, Chabad Rabbi of Liverpool Universities. Um, a very, very silly spat because multi-faith prayer rooms, multi prayer rooms are for everyone, not just from any particular faith. And I actually think the rabbi was right to refuse to take them off. I would have refused to take them off as well. However, have a look at this article. This is from the Algemeiner newspaper. Notice the date at the top of it, November the 11th, 2015. Heathrow apologised to Rabbi asked to remove shoes in airport's prayer room. If you compare the text between the Jewish Chronicle article here and the Algemeiner, you'll notice it's the same article. Simon used an article which is getting on for eight years and three months old to make his point. Now, you can make a couple of conclusions about that. One, either Simon didn't bother to do his research and check the links for that and check when this event occurred, which is lazy and rather sloppy, especially if you're going to claim to be a historian and list yourself as one. One of the first things a historian does is what? Checks their sources. Secondly, if they get it wrong, they note they got it wrong. An issue a retraction or an amendment. People do make mistakes, not the end of the world. Um, but we, I doubt we're going to see that in this case. This is an eight years plus story that Simon has dredged up. Coincidentally, on the site of the day before, a certain trial is about to occur in The Hague and has started off a wave of sort of discord religious back and forth with people shouting rubbish about Muslims. It's also a minor spat between one rabbi and one bloke at an airport. It's not the end of civilization as we know it. Now, for those who haven't heard of the Algemeiner, here's a Wikipedia article on it. As usual, there'll be links to everything. The Algemeiner Journal, known informally as the Algemeiner, is a newspaper based in New York City that covers American and international Jewish and Israeli-related news. It is widely read by Hasidic Jews. Feel free, therefore, when I get to the end of this, to go and look at the articles and check the dates. You'll also find this article from 2015 in other places with the date of 2015. And you will notice on this paper, the Algemeiner, because it's plainly aimed at Jew the Jewish community mainly, they've put the date in the Jewish calendar up the top, 29 Tivet 5784, and they put the date in the normal Western calendar further down because they know, obviously, their audience is mainly Hasidic Jews. <laughs> now, it would help if people did research things and didn't just swallow stuff which came across as very cheap propaganda designed to sort of engineer tensions yesterday and cause a real wave of, of massive hate to start boiling up. This is how cheap propaganda works. You find a very a small situation, turn it into something huge and get scapegoating going on. If you ever think I'm doing it or anyone else, go and check...